<laughs> Man, 2020 is getting weird. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the show. <laughs> so over the weekend, the news has broke that Jacob Lake is not going to prison. Apparently, prosecutors and attorneys have reached an agreement and he is not going to go to prison. Even though he broke so many laws, carrying a gun at the bar, going to a place he was not supposed to go, breaking a restraining order, and assaulting police officers, and this fool is not going to jail. You're telling me this career criminal, <laughs> this career criminal broke so many laws, resisted arrest, and this fool is not going to jail. I don't care if he's been shot seven times, I really don't care. He resisted arrest. He has known to have weapons. He had a knife on the floor of the truck. The person called 911. The lady called 911 and said that he's going to take the kids. The kids were in the car. He took the kids, put in the car. Number one, he was not supposed to be there. Number two, he assaulted a police officer. He resisted arrest, and you tell me that he got probation and is not going to prison? Are you freaking kidding me? And this fool is going to get some millions of dollars for the city. I don't get it, ladies and gentlemen. I do not get this. I do not get it. I do not get it. First, Brianna Taylor, and now Jacob Blake. <laughs> I'm a model citizen. I don't break the law. I don't get no money. And these fools over here are getting money. Their families are getting money because these guys are fools. They are criminals. It's a sad day in America that these guys can break the law and get money. They break the law many, many times to get probation. Probation! And the sexual assault charge has been dropped. I have nothing else to say. I'm out of here.